Let me say this. You don't have to be qualified for God to use you. All you have to do is surrender and be used by the Heavenly Father. All you have to do is surrender and want to be used by the Heavenly Father. People might think that you are not qualified. Why did God call her to save the spies? Why did God call her to help the spies? Why did God call her to help them take down the Jericho wall? Because God qualified her. It doesn't matter what the world seen in her. God used her and saved her family. Amen. And people might think that you're not qualified, but God does. And if God be for you, who can be against you? Amen. The people that the people that the world throws away is the ones that God used. This woman helped them with taking down the walls of Jericho. I mean taking down the walls of Jericho. But God chose the foolish things of this world to put the wise to shame. You see, God will use the foolish things, the things that the world call foolish. To put the world to shame. God chose the weak things of the world. To shame the strong. So a lot of times we're looking for help. That's wrapped up and packaged up. That looks like the part. That plays the part. But God is over here using this one. The one that everybody called the nobody. The one that everybody talked about. The one that everybody said there are no nobody to the world. I want to tell you that if you're down and you've been called a nobody, God can use you. You are the one that God can use. The puffed up, the ones that think they're all that, the ones that think they're special. God can use the ones that the world throws to the curve, throws to the side. The ones that people laugh at, they call them a reach -in. They say something's wrong with them. This woman was a harlot, a prostitute. That everybody, they didn't know why she was doing what she was doing. Maybe she needed to defeat her kids. I don't know, her family. But the world looked at her as a nobody. Hallelujah, Jesus. God chooses the weak things of this world to shame the strong. She allowed herself to be used by God. And in return, God saves her and her family. Hallelujah, Jesus. Don't worry about who don't think you're qualified. Don't even worry about who, who doesn't think you're qualified. And I'm not talking to just harlots or whoever you think I'm talking about. What I'm saying is that a lot of times people will not do what God called them to do. Because they'll think that they're not qualified. They'll think, I have a background. I have a lifestyle. I live this lifestyle. God could be calling me. There are women today who are mothers and taking care of children. And they won't be recognized. No one looks at them like they're, they didn't do anything. They have no wins to the world. But they got all the wins. They got Jesus. God can use the people who are misfits. The women that are misfits. I'm here to tell you that this woman had a lifestyle that nobody cared for. But God used her to take down the walls of Jericho. To take down the walls of Jericho. God called you. If God called you, you are qualified. If God called you, you are qualified. Hallelujah, Jesus. It doesn't matter what anyone else says. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. You are qualified because God called you. Qualified by the world. God has already qualified you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Somebody received that. Somebody just got delivered from that. Hallelujah, Jesus. So throw your hands up and say, God, I know you qualified me. It don't matter what I came from. It don't matter where I'm going. But God, I trust you. I trust you with my future. I trust you with my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah, Jesus. It don't matter. It doesn't matter if everybody lets you go. If everybody kicks you, kicks you to the curve. As long as Jesus is for you, who can be against you? God says that he can blow his breath on a nation if anybody opposes him. 
So it don't matter who opposes you. Because as long as God is for you, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. It don't matter who closes the door. That door was closed for a reason. That door was closed so you wouldn't go in that door. So now it's directing you to where God wants you to go. So be thankful that the door was closed. Be thankful that they kicked you to the curb. Be thankful that they called you a nobody. Because it made you surrender to Jesus. It made you surrender to Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Glory to your name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. When they call you a nobody, say, I am a somebody. But the God has called me for a purpose. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Begin to rejoice. Because God has called you for a purpose. God has ordained you. God has chosen you. You are the chosen one. And that's why the enemy don't want you to get up. That's why the enemy don't want you to keep moving. That's why the enemy wants you to kick them, wants them to kick you to the curb. He sent them out on an assignment, hoping that it would destroy you. But God said, I am in that child. I am lifting that child up. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. That's why they did what they did to you. That's why they kicked you to the curb. Because the enemy sent them out on an assignment. Because he thought he was going to destroy you. But I want to encourage you today to pick your head up and keep on marching. Keep going. Keep walking in the Lord. Don't give up. Keep on going. Keep going. You are. There's more of us than it is of them. Hallelujah, Jesus. God is for you. If God be for you, who can be against you? Not nobody. God's got the world in his head. So it don't matter what people say in this world. It don't matter what your mama said about you. It don't matter what your daddy said about you. It don't matter what your sisters say about you. Or your brother. Or your cousins. Or your uncles. Or your aunts. God called you. So keep on moving. Do not give up. In the name of Jesus. I'm here to tell you right now that God is saying keep going. Keep going. 